think the word surreal is like often used out of context but this really did feel quite surreal and it didn't really sink in until kind of it had happened it was really special to see these two great loves of marty's collide you know uh, and to be in the orbit of that whole experience was just really really cool personal note for me like getting to see my two small kids you know in that sea of faces looking up as we sang those songs it was really really special and memorable and it felt kind of like a once in a lifetime moment playing music like most things consists of a lot of hopes and dreams i view both hopes and dreams as two separate things hopes consist of attainable things you really like to happen whereas dreams are things you'd love to happen but probably never will hopes can be modest in nature such as playing your first ever gig maybe they might be slightly beyond your reach but could one day happen like performing in another country as some of your hopes come to fruition the boat might get pushed out further from the shore and you get to travel beyond where you ever thought you could take things Maybe with enough graft, a dream might come through with a bit of luck and good timing. As some of your hopes become realized, some dreams may move closer to being a hope rather than a dream, but some things feel like they'll forever be a dream. I used to joke that if we ever got to play a big venue like the Olympia or Vicar Street, I'd finally be able to quit music because my list of musical dreams would be cleared. Well, on the day that I collected the van for the headline tour of our new album, we got an email inviting Claire and I to play the homecoming of the Limerick Hurlers who will be playing in the All-Ireland Final the following week. Throughout that week and especially on my way up to Croker to watch the match, in the back of my mind I knew that if the team won, the chance of playing to thousands of people might actually come true and Claire and I would get to present our music on the biggest platform we probably will ever have. And as the final whistle came and Limerick won a historic four All-Irelands in a row, I couldn't stop myself from crying. Because of what the team had achieved and the chance that almost 10 years of such hard work and sacrifice with the band would culminate in a true once-in-a-lifetime experience. The next day as Claire and I began loading in for the gig, the nerves were hard to keep at bay because we had no idea how our music would translate in front of that many people. But amidst the uncertainty, I did feel quietly confident. It felt like the time that I played to three people in Czech Republic, or 10 people in Newcastle, or the time we sold out our first gig, or played our first real deal support tour, were all in preparation for this one moment. As we sound checked, I got a text from a friend who lived a mile away from the stage saying that they could hear us from their house, and the scale of it all began to hit me. Another reason why I was so emotional when the final whistle went in the match was because my granddad, who had passed away a year previous, had dedicated his life to hurling in football in Limerick. I find it difficult to go to a match anymore without feeling a little closer to him. And much to my surprise, while we were setting up for the gig, loads of people came up to me saying how delighted they were that the grandson of John Nocton and his band could play the homecoming. That took the emotion of the gig to a whole new level. From there, we stepped out on stage in front of more than 20,000 people, and the rest is pretty much a blur. Despite the size of the crowd, I do remember picking out and seeing people that I knew, either from growing up or from different bands, and the whole time that Claire and I were up there, I just felt an enormous amount of gratitude for everything that Limerick has given me and this band. After we were done and everyone went their separate ways, I felt the best thing to do was to go for a quiet pint in the coziest pub I could find and luckily I was able to share it and the experiences of the day with a dear friend and reflect on the most incredible experience of our musical lives. Maybe sometimes the crazy unattainable things on the dreams list do actually come true. Go on, yup, for the parish. <laughs>